you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on top of the market news. Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today's August 18, 2020, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the euro, Bitcoin, and the British pound all pushing higher above their resistance-ish levels. But first, let's take a look at the various markets. So we did have a monetary policy coming out of Australia earlier this morning, which is a major economic event of the day. But since it already happened, I'm not going to include it here. So looking at the various markets, looking at the euro leading the way higher. OK, as this rotation is actually going on, we're going to take a look at that. And looking at the indices, the Dow Jones tapers off while the Nasdaq and the JSC are trading on their highs. We're going to take a look at both of them. And looking at the commodities, gold rallies big over 50 points yesterday while oil is trading on the top of the range. And lastly, looking at the cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, which we've been mildly keeping in the back burner, has finally pushed above 12,000. Okay, now we did mention this last week. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're starting out here with the EURUSD weekly chart. You could see this nice little pickup above this 1893. This never really dipped below it. Okay, dipped briefly below it, but once it was 1811, that's the story. Okay, now the real next resistance -ish level is 119.15. And if we push above that, we could definitely hit this 120-ish level. Okay, so something to keep on the radar if it does push higher you know as this is making you know its rotational move now looking at the aussie us dollar also trading at that top range but not breaking out higher after this number earlier this morning and looking at the gbp above that resistance -ish line okay now this was a previous resistance -ish line several times we did push above it and so the next real resistance -ish line is 3150 okay 13150 that is and we're just trading at 13136 so we do have some way to move higher there as well now jumping into commodities gold back in play after tapering off down to 1940 breaking above the moving averages and then just taking up higher to 1991 as it's gaining back real estate it lost from that all-time high of 2073 so you know all all said and done we are in this middle move between this 273 and this 1873 level okay so we're really almost smack in the middle of that so that could be a 50 percent retracement resistance -ish level if we look at that okay so something to consider now jumping into commodities okay the other commodity of oil excuse me looking at 4272 it's in a tight range but it is you know perking up above this area ish level so if it does break above 4285 it may you know challenge that 4345 now you know altogether oil has been in the back burner just because so many things are going on and, you know, the lockdowns and the easing of the lockdowns and back to lockdown. So I think we're going to continue seeing this choppiness move in the price of oil. Now, jumping into the indices, first looking at the Dow Jones, it did taper off just a little bit. There is a resistance ish level of 28,073. We're in a tight range. OK, we, we shed off some 100 points yesterday, but nothing really to write home about on much, much lower volume. So can't really read into this right now. But looking at the NASDAQ, we're trading at our highs again. Okay, we're trading on our highs with lower volume, but something to consider here. Okay, as this is pushing up above, we're watching the stocks actually trading lower. So this may actually retrace, you know, if it does not prove itself to push up higher as well. Now, in this formation, we actually have an upside down head and shoulder. This is your head, this is one shoulder, and this is your second shoulder. OK, and in this type of form, I would expect it actually to break above this area, OK, which was a previous resistance layer of 11,293. So if it does break above it, we could actually see it go to 11,500 ish level, maybe 550 ish level, OK, equal to the amount that it's breaking out to. So something to consider and keep this on the radar because it may just jump into play. Now, looking at the JSC, OK, this also is trading at that top range. But it looks like a triple top. Okay, it really has to close above this 53,200-ish level for it to really solidify on the upside. So something to consider here as this makes that push above this 53,162. Now jumping into the stock, it's it's not that encouraging. 
Okay, we're looking at Apple right now, not pushing out higher. We're looking at a one hour chart. It is trading at the top of the range. Would I say this is selling off? No, I would not say it's selling off. So I wouldn't be so inclined to selling short this areas because the stocks are still relatively strong. Facebook, you know, took a little bit of a breather, but still flatlined there. Microsoft uh, 209, okay, pretty much unchanged there. And looking at Amazon, still looking like that triple top or looking like it's going to be making a wedge formation look at that that's a classical wedge formation right there so i'd like to see if this does break out on either side okay so something to consider there now lastly looking at bitcoin now this was the one that we mentioned last week and sure enough you always got to keep it on your back burner to check it out to see if it really did solidify and finally 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 we got that move above the 11627 and once we got that we're trading at 12,000. 200 ish level okay now this is a bit of a resistance -ish area for us to really break up above we need to go a bit higher 12,500 to 13,000 ish level should be our target here so this actually may still forade itself okay it may still show us that it's going to push that you know extra bit higher as the rotations are taking place people taking money away from equities and put them into more diverse kind of investments like gold and bitcoin okay so something to consider going into today's trading this is fred razak i want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you